your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. It is 617. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Icy conditions are a huge concern this morning. Uh, so with a recent wintry mix yesterday through last night, and that included freezing rain, it's created a lot of black ice and, and even just slick roads that you can see the ice on. And we've got that lasting through the morning commute. So because of uh, the icy conditions, some schools have decided to have a delay. And you'll see that scrolling at the bottom of your screen here throughout this weather uh, forecast. Now, I was, I was looking at some of the cameras cameras around the, the state to see those icy conditions. And I caught this photo here. This shows how cold it is in Ray this morning. This is in Northwest North Dakota. These are light pillars and they come from the light in the city just refracting or reflecting through the ice crystals suspended in the air. So that typically happens when it's pretty cold. I just checked that one. It's not there anymore. Those, uh, those light pillars not showing up as much, but that was taken last hour. Here's our satellite and radar. Not too much happening here. We do have just a few clouds and a chance for some snow for our southwestern friends through the afternoon. Right now, down to about four below in the Turtle Mountains, 11 below in Rugby, 18 in Dickinson, with winds out of the north around uh, 10 to 15. We'll keep that through the afternoon. Some winds through the morning hours as a cold front moves through could be kind of breezy for you but they won't be this afternoon. But with that cold front, we're just pulling in some cold air, probably just canceling out some of the sunshine. We would get the warmth we would get from the sunshine, really. Uh, so as we head into the afternoon, you'll probably see temperatures colder than what you're feeling right now. This is 5 p.m. this afternoon. Lots of single digits on the map, even some areas sub-zero. Once we fall to sub-zero, we stay there overnight through a good part of Tuesday. Overnight tonight through tomorrow, we're going to have a wind chill advisory and a wind chill warning, meaning our wind chills could be as low as 45 below into Tuesday morning. And so what we'll have is a clearing of these clouds because high pressure will come into play here. Here's that chance for some snow for our southwestern counties today. Uh, but we've got high pressure moving in, and that's going to clear our clouds out. That's going to give us a nice and sunny day on Tuesday, but it's going to plunge those temperatures for most. And once it pushes off towards the east here, we'll have a warming on Wednesday with windy conditions, and we could see our next best chance for some snow drop in from the north on Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But here are your lows tonight. Get ready for another bone chilling night here with temperatures down to around 15 to 25 below in some cases, especially in the northeast. And then your highs tomorrow, while they'll rebound a little more in the west, a lot of us in central North Dakota will stay in the single digits, both above and below zero. We all warm on Wednesday. This is your forecast for the next three days in Dickinson, back to above freezing. And again, it comes with wind. Steer Williston forecast also back to the mid 30s there by Wednesday. And we do have a, a brief cool down, not a big one there on Thursday. That's with a cold front that could bring a chance for snow late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. It would be light accumulation. And then here's your Bismarck forecast. Also seeing a chance for some snow on Wednesday night. And then we'll head into the, the second half of this work week, really much warmer than the first half. It's a beautiful picture in Ray, North Dakota this morning. Yeah, even though it was uh, you know dark and it was kind of tough to see, it was really kind of pretty to see those light crystals. With the cold really comes the beauty. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you, Amber. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. So to come, new intelligence gathered by the British.